Good morning, children. Welcome to today's English class. We learnt about nouns. A noun is a name given to a person, place, animal, or thing. Next is verb. The verb says what that person, animal, or thing does. Next, we will learn about when that action happened if there is an ing at the end of the word it means the action is not finished and it is taking place while we are talking if there is ed added to the verb it means the action has happened long time ago in the past and the action is completed we have done exercises for this in your English reader, adding ing and adding ed to make the words yesterday words. Now we will learn about is, am, and are. They are called as linking verbs. We use is to speak about one person, place, animal, or thing. If it is more than one person, place, animal or thing, we use are. Next is am. We use am only with I. I have given few exercises. Based on that, please do complete and submit. First one, use is or are with these nouns. If there is only one person, place, animal or thing, we are supposed to use only is. Here there is only one book, so the answer is is dolls. You have many, so you have to write R here. Understood? This is how you have to complete this exercise. Next, fill in the blanks with is or R. This dash a hen. So you have only one hen. The answer is S. These dash hens. You have many. So the answer is R. Okay. Next third one. Fill in the blanks with S, am or R. Azar dash playing in the park. Azar here is only one person. So you have to write is in the dash. With I, you have to write am always. The flowers dash pretty. Flowers. So here you have to write are. With I, you have to write am. The bird dash in the tree. There is only one bird, so you have to write is. So complete the rest of the sentences. Let's go for exercise four. Change the today words into yesterday words by adding ed. Walk, walked, enjoy, enjoyed, play, played. In this, the action is completed in the past. So, you just add an ed and write the verb. Next, fill in the blank with yesterday words you have done in the previous exercise. So, you have few sentences and you can use these yesterday words to fill in the blanks. First one, Dora dash to school. You can write Dora walk to school. The children enjoyed themselves at the zoo. Bani and Raman played chess in the evening. The little puppy licked its mother's nose. Jack helped Manu to tidy his room. The frog jumped into the pond. Next, add ing to the given verbs and rewrite them. Build, building, open, opening. Grow, growing. Fly, flying. It means the action is happening now. Next, you have few sentences. 
you can use the ing words to fill in the blanks granny is dash a cake granny is baking a cake aba is dancing adil is hiding behind the curtain asha is skating in the park grandpa is slicing the cake deep is chasing jia complete that given exercise and you can turn to page number 28 in your english reader read these sentences i am a girl we are girls the book is on a table the books are on the table with i you have to write am here many girls so you have to write are one book so the answer is is many books so are let's do exercise g fill in the blanks with is am or are janak dash singing janak is the name of a person there is only one person so the answer is is the cat dash on the mat there is only one cat so you have to write is i dash am all with i you have to write am i am am all grandpa dash playing tennis grandpa is only one person so the answer is is we dash friends we means many so you have to write a r e we are friends so complete exercise g in your english reader that's all for today children complete the exercises